All right, uh, now we're going to introduce the first type of uh, differential equations that can be explicitly solved and, well, relatively easily solved. Uh, it is called a separable differential equation. So a separable differential equation looks like this. Uh, so it is a first order differential equation, right? So uh, we have the um, independent variable x here and the unknown function y function of x or the dependent variable and then we have some expression p of y times dy dx equals some other expression of, of x so this is a separable uh, differential equation so why is it called a separable differential differential equation um well i'm going to explain um, a couple of minutes later so let me now first show you how you can identify separable differential equations right so the first differential equation is, is, is separable, right? So here, the, this is uh, your, um, P of Y, right? So the, this is P of Y and this is Q of X, right? So this is a separable differential equation, uh, B in B notice that, um, the left hand side here, it, it has, it only has Y, right? But in, in fact, you, you, I mean, it is not really a separable equation because, well, you can think of it as y squared plus e to the y times dy dx equals x sine x, right? And because of the, the presence of the, the, this dx, you, you can't really separate it, all right? So th this is not a separable differential equation, right? So let me I'll put a cross here. So th this is not a separable differential equation. And uh, the differential equation in, in C is in fact separable because we can multiply it by e to the minus y. And multiplying it by e to the minus y, we're going to get e to the minus y times y prime is the y dx equals x squared times e to the y times e to the minus y. And this cancel out. So th this is just... Um, x square and now we see that um, this is my um, p of y and this is my p of x okay uh, now how do we solve separable differential equations uh, the idea here is, is, is as follows if we have um, a separable differential equation that looks like p of y times dy dx equals uh, q of x, right? Uh, so the, it, it is a bit informal. Um, it's actually a valid mathematical method, but uh, to, to prove that it works mathematically, I mean, it's not really very hard, but I, I'm not going to do it. Um, so if you're interested, you, you can just, just Google, Google it out. So, uh, but the, the, the procedure is somewhat funny. So what we do here is we kind of multiply it by dx, right? So we are going to multiply both left-hand side and the right-hand side by dx. And when we do this, we sort of pretend that dy dx is a fraction. And when we do it, we are going to get py dy equals qx dx, right? And after this, we will just introduce integration here and integrating this, we are going to get, you know, the left hand side is going to be some expression in Y and the right hand side is going to be some expression in X. And then we will get an equation on Y and X and then we're going to solve it, solve for, uh, for Y, right? So solve for Y to, to find, to find y as a function of x now uh a little remark so when we do this integration you know when you um when you integrate some function you usually write plus c now you will probably be tempted to write plus c on the left and on the right hand side so you you can write pl like plus c1 plus c2 this is wrong right so you shouldn't do it so basically there is there should be just one plus plus c here because basically the idea here is that the, the, the differential that, that you have here, it, it tells us that what you are doing is, is not just 
finding integrals. So you are looking for uh, when, when you, you have an equation that tells you that this is the same as this um, or this is the, the same as this. Basically, it tells you that uh, two functions, they, they have the, the same derivative, the, the same first derivative. But if two functions have the same first derivative, it means that when you integrate it, so it means that uh, the, the, the two functions that themselves, they differ by an additive constant, right? So one of them is another one plus a constant, but th there is just one constant, right? So you, th there shouldn't be two constants. So which is why um, th there, there is just one plus C when you solve a separable differential equation and, and usually we introduce it on the right hand side. So when we uh, do this integration, we don't insert plus C on the left hand side, but we do it on the right hand side. So here is the, the same thing uh, printed and uh, here is how it works. Right? Um, so how do we solve the, this differential equation? So we move dx to the uh, right hand side. So we kind of, at the moment, we just pretend that this is a fraction and we multiply by, uh, by, by dx, right? So do, doing this, we will get three, sorry, um, three y square dy equals cos x dx. Then I'm going to introduce the integration sign, right? Now, uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to integrate, but the, the trick is that I am, I'm going to introduce plus constant only on the right hand side, right? So, I mean, it's just, just convenient. So th there should be just one plus plus C. Uh, so the antiderivative of three Y square is, is just Y cube equals the antiderivative of cosine is, is what is sine, sine X plus constant. So which really means that Y is uh, what is cube root of sine x plus constant and that that's the answer basically so now i, I solve solving for y I, I will get this okay but again so the important part is that there, there should be a plus c but it should only be one plus c because essentially our equation is a first order differential equation so and if it is a first order differential equation we expect that, 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 that in the end there will be just one plus constant. All right, um, I hope this is clear. So now a slightly more complicated example. So how do I do this? So, and again, so what I should do, I should just move this to the right hand side, the dx. Uh, so doing that, I will get one plus y square dy equals x cosine x dx. And now it, it becomes clear that you know if if you, you if you had something like plus y plus something here, you wouldn't be able to separate the variables because when you, you multiply by dx, you you will have like plus y dx on, on the left hand side, and you wouldn't be able to do the tree. right? So which is why uh, you know in order to separate the variable, the variables, your differential equation should be of the form where the left hand side is some some expression of y times dy dx, but that there shouldn't be, you know, anything else there. Okay, so then I'm going to, to integrate. Uh, now, the, the left-hand side is going to be just um, y plus what plus y cube over 3. And again, so strictly speaking, plus constant, but the, there should be just one plus constant, either on the left or on the right. So I will not write a plus constant on, on the left. So I will rather uh, do it on, on, on the right. Now, uh, integral of x cos n x, we can do it by parts. Right? So by parts. Well, um, to integrate some function by parts means that uh, we split it into the product of two factors. And one of them is going to be differentiated, the other one integrated. And of course, it's more convenient to differentiate x and to integrate cosine x, right? Because when you differentiate x, you, you just get one and then it, it kind of becomes easier to, to solve. So uh, to integrate by parts, uh, what I do, I have 
uh, I, I first just, just write x times the antiderivative of cos n x and the antiderivative of cos n x is is sin x sin x minus the integral of the first derivative of x which is just one times the antiderivative of cos n x which is sin x sin x dx uh, which is x sin x and the antiderivative of sin x is is what is minus cos n x right so it's going to be plus cos n x plus constant all right uh so putting it together we get uh y plus y cubed over three equals x sin x plus cos n x plus c now uh Strictly speaking, we could solve the this cubic equation for y, but the formula is, is kind of super complicated. It, it is the so-called um, Cardano's formula for solving the cubic equation, and it is just huge and it, it's messy. So probably we shouldn't. We we could just leave it in this form, uh, and we are going to, to just, just say that okay, so th this is the answer, and y is an implicit function of x. Okay, so y is an implicit function of x. Uh, so when we solve a differential equation, usually, of course, we try to solve, to, to find a, uh, a solution in closed form, where y is some, some formula in terms of x. But sometimes we, we can't do it. And if we can't do it, then, then we can probably just leave it as, as is, you know. So. And in that case, y is going to be an implicit function of x instead. All right, so here is the, the solution. Uh, and basically, that's it about solving separable differential equations.